In this video, we're going to look at how you can draw a ray diagram for a plain mirror when you don't have squared paper. For this, you're going to need a pencil, a set square, a protractor, and a long ruler. So make sure you've got that equipment. So to show what's already drawn on my diagram, I've got the mirror here, and it would be the shiny side on this side and the back of the mirror here. I've got something blocking which shows no light can come directly from the object to the eye. I've got my eye drawn here and my object drawn here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is draw a ray of light coming from the object and hitting the mirror. Now this will be my incident ray. Once I've drawn that, I need to construct a normal at 90 degrees to the mirror and that's going to be easiest done with the set square. So if I get my set square and place it on the uh, paper so that this edge is lined up with here and then move it so that it is lined up with where the incident ray hits the mirror, then I can draw in my normal. And I now need to measure this angle, which is the angle of incidence. And to do that, I can place my protractor here and carefully read off that that angle in this case is 27 degrees. So I don't forget, I'll write that there. And then I need to place my protractor the other way round and measure off that it is 27 degrees the other way. Now, a little tip to make sure that you get the protractor angled correctly. If you make sure the 90 degrees is lined up with the mirror, then even if you didn't draw your normal in very well, that will keep it in the right place. So then I need to read off my 27 degrees, which will be at this point here. And now I can draw in my reflected ray passing through that point there. And that has ensured that I have an angle of reflection equal to 27 degrees as well. And I've put an arrow on that to show it's going that way. Then I need to repeat exactly the same procedure, but with a slightly different incident ray. So I'm going to draw that one in like this. And again, I can use my set square to draw in a normal with a dotted line. Then I can use my protractor to measure my new angle of incidence for this one. Again, I can line up the 90 degrees with the mirror to make sure, even if I've not drawn my normal perfectly, that that is good. And I can see that that is 33 degrees. So I need to rotate the protractor around, make sure it's carefully lined up and measure my 33 degrees again, which is going to be there. And now I can draw in my reflected ray from where the incident ray hit and through this point here to give me my correct angle of reflection. And now I've got my second ray drawn in. At this point, I am ready to add in the virtual rays. So I need to line my ruler alongside the reflected ray and then draw in a dotted line going back to be my virtual ray, which is what your brain assumes the light has done, traveled in a straight line all the time. And do that again for the other reflected ray, which I line up the ruler along the reflected ray and do the virtual ray going backwards behind uh, the mirror. And then where those points cross, I can put a mark and that should be the image which I've labeled there. And if I've done this correctly, then I should find that the image is the same distance behind as the object is in front. So let me just check that. So with my set square reasonably well lined up, I can see that that is 
seven centimeters in front and my image maybe not completely perfect is about six and a half behind so I could perhaps have done a slightly better job on that.